Hey there, Mighty Texans. Today we're gonna to put together everything that you have learned, guys. We're looking at density still, so we're gonna go ahead and close up with a density lab. This one's actually pretty cool, it's interactive. So as you open up week 12, you've got Thursday and Friday. This is for the Thursday the 11th lab day that we're using this for. You're gonna open this up and it's going to look like a handout. This slide's gonna look like a handout. All right, so as you go through it, you'll be able to actually type on it where it says type here. In the data charts, you'll be able to go ahead and enter in information. So the way it's gonna look, guys, you're gonna have three sheets that you're completing for the lab. All right, so keep that in mind. As we go in, I'm gonna put it in present mode so you can see closer. Now it's got a link here that you're gonna click on. When you click on that link, guys, that's gonna be the simulator that you can go ahead and get into so that you can get information. All right, so you're gonna go ahead and first things first, define mass, define volume. You've got those in your notes. You've also got information from before that we've used. So it says here in the interactive lesson in the box to the top right. So you'll see this box, so I'm gonna get out of presentation mode so you can see again. When I click that link, it opens this up here. It's going to show you intro, compare, and mystery. You can learn how to use it here clicking on intro. And those toggles stay here at the bottom. So this is going to show you the brick. So you can change this brick, guys, from wood to styrofoam to ice an actual brick, aluminum. You can adjust the mass, you can adjust the volume. We're looking at the volume of the water down here. So you can make the water, well, this is the volume of the brick. I apologize, guys. So when you adjust the mass, we said mass and volume are related, you can adjust the volume as well. So you can play with that. Now, when you get into the actual lab, you're gonna go into compare. So this bottom button here. So if you notice, you've got different bricks up here, and it says blocks, same mass, same volume. You can change it so the volume is the same. Notice how the mass changes. Remember, kilograms and grams, all of that is mass. Liters itself is the water, or do we want them to have the same density? So if you look at your handout, it tells you specifically that, make it present so you can see it again, in the interactive lesson in the top, in the box to the top right, select same mass. Fill in the table below. The blue box has been done for you. So it says to find the volume of an object, test how much water it displaces. Move a block and hold it under the water. How much does the water volume increase by? All right, guys, so here's the blue box. See, it says yellow, green, and red. The mass should be all the same at this setting. So let's get into the lab here. It says same mass. So it was saying, see notice 5.0 kilograms, 5.0 kilograms, all the blocks have the same mass. So the question asked for the blue box, if we put it in at five kilograms, we need to fill in the volume. So let's look. Right now it is at 100. So we put the blue box in. You just click and drag. When you drop it in, you notice the displacement. So here's the after, 105 liters. So then you're gonna go right here, just like they did. The mass was at five kilograms. So we know the volume went from 100 liters originally, that's the before, and after it had 105 liters. When we subtract after minus before, we get the volume, five liters. So if we use our density formula, remember density is density equals mass divided by the volume, then you get the density, so five, divided by five is one, kilo, one kilogram per liter. 
So then you're going to answer the questions right after, guys. You've got, again, three different pages. And it tells you here to move to same volume. You're going to do the same thing. And then you're going to go through and go same density, guys. Okay? But play with the site. See what you learn. You've also got another button here that you can play with later where you're looking at a mystery set. You can figure out the weights, the masses as well. But this is going to be the one that you turn in. Take your time. You do have Thursday and Friday to work on this. All right, guys, enjoy your day. Have fun with this and talk to you soon.